Ramble. Cigarettes in Arkansas only cost six bucks. You fucked, fucked up, up, bitch! bitch. Welcome to yes. Guilty Pleasures. <laughs> yes. Good job. Ah, today we're talking about 2020 The Hunt. Yes, we are. One of the biggest movies that you've never seen and maybe mm-hmm. never even heard of. Mm. What if I told you mm-hmm. that Damon Lindelof, who's one of the greatest fucking writers of all okay. time, co-creator of Lost, creator of Watchmen, co-wrote a movie with his brother, okay? Craig Zobel, who... Created and directed Mayor of East Town. Wow. Directed this movie. Wow. You've got Ike Barinholtz. You've wow. got Glenn Howerton from from It's Always Sunny. You've got Emma Roberts. You've got Hilary Swank. You've got the you guy said. from This Is Us, the hot brother. Yes. Mm-hmm. Oh, right. Okay, I don't know mm-hmm. his name, but the hot brother. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. You've got yeah. Um, a pig. A pig. You've got Ethan Suppley. No one knows who that yeah, is. Yeah, people who watch Kevin Smith movies do. Miles, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Hell yeah. He was on Boy Meets <laughs> World, too. This movie is stacked, so what the fuck happened? Oh, tell us. Tell us, Zachary. Tell A lot. Us. A lot happened. Um, we to, to tell you why you don't know about this movie, we will be dump, uh, dipping into fun facts a little early, okay. but I think I should give you the synopsis. Give us the snop eye. Let's do it. I want to know, first of all, guys, how you feeling? I am. I was saving my energy. Good. My nipples are hard. For my this feet movie. are peddling. I'm ready to fucking run. Let's Your take nipples off. are hard. Yeah, they usually always are. This movie is a classic. Is a twist on a classic. You have the most dangerous game, people hunting yep. people. But in this case, you have a bunch of wealthy liberal, liberal elites rounding up and hunting deplorables. Yes. Trump Republicans support- versus Democrats. But in this case, you have yeah. the Democrats hunting down Republicans to punish them mm-hmm. for uh, being awful, hateful Starting people. conspiracy theorists about yeah. liberals. Yeah. And it yeah. is, we'll get more into that, mm-hmm. but this movie pissed Fucking people rules. off. Yeah. And it rules. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and it really, I remember yeah. seeing yeah, a trailer for this, it and it was like getting banned before the trailer was even releasing. They were like, yeah. How, this is yeah. too close to real life. You know, it was 2020. Like oh. there was a lot happening. Right. All they did really was like read the synopsis yep. of the movie because the movie wasn't out yet. Mm-hmm. And if you had watched the whole movie, you'd be like, oh, okay. Oops. Yep. And then, yeah. So they just saw the, the headline and then. Fully dry. It was a movie's being anyway, made where liberals are killing Republicans and boycott it and thumbs down it on IMDb. What's funny is that yeah. I part of what I love and also what I think is uh, something that is a flaw of the movie that we will get into is that if people who like if Fox News watched this movie, they would realize it, it makes more yes. fun of liberals. Yes, it's it, more it beats fun of the liberals. Yeah. It makes way more fun of the yeah. liberals. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, so. It's like it's it's like they're saying, no, you were right. <laughs> like, you're right to hate them. Mm-hmm. We're giving you ammo. Literally. Yeah, literally. A. A. Uh, I, I think we should hold off on the controversy and perhaps talk a little bit first about just what is a blast about it. This movie is so good oh because God. it's giving, like you said, like Hunger Games. It's giving surprising characters. It's giving yeah. stereotypes that you actually like. You know, usually when you see a stereotype in a movie, yeah. you're like, oh, fuck. God, this is servicing no right. one. This is a trope. But this was like, yeah, we are. That's me. That's you. I know yeah. that person. I know that bitch. I know her. The shots yeah. are fucking like, sick. The the fight scenes are fucking sick. The violence is hilarious the and over the top. The writing is great. It's very funny. The self-awareness. It's very uh, t- Tarantino-like. Mm-hmm. Like, the self-awareness is very funny. I, I, I just, I just got to take a good long moment Take it. to just praise Take it. Betty Gilpin. Mm. Like Fuck Jesus yeah. Christ. She should be in every action movie. She's every, like I, it really does suck that this movie got um, shot down so hard because she would have been in like all of the John Wicks. Mm. She would have been in um, all of the mission impossibles mm-hmm. or whatever. Mm-hmm. She would have been like that. The, the strong, Female. Uh, or the, the, the strong female badass. Mm-hmm. Betty Gilpin, some people may know from Glow. Yeah. 
It, it, she was just dope. She was dope. She was really cool. And she she brought like that John Wick energy to the whole movie. She is such an in fucking such a fucking incredible yeah. lead and so badass. And you're absolutely yeah. I mean, you yeah. watch this movie and you go, who is, is this? I say I paused the movie and yeah. looked her up immediately. Because I was like, this bitch. She's got star rules. power. Yeah. And she's not even yeah, she has star power, and she's not even like that at all in Glow. No. She no. plays a completely different she's character. She's like from upstate New York or range. something. Like she, it <laughs> yeah. shocked me. I'm from the South, uh -huh. so I know what a Southern bitch looks like, acts like, smells like. And she fucking nailed it. What do they smell like? Yeah. The way Bud that Lay she's holding Newport. her mouth, the, the way that she holds her mouth alone yeah. is is – testament enough and what she gives her, like, that like i love when you're asking what's just good about this movie yeah. what she gives us that this movie does a really good job of is fucking twist after twist surprises all over you think okay this is just gonna be a hunting movie uh -huh. but it fucks your brain up we're gonna get into some spoiler territory I, you have been warned yeah go, um, just go watch it pause and go watch it it's that good we're yeah. all given pleasure. I'm, I'm telling you. <laughs> is it is Garrick? Is yeah. do you have something before I get into kind of the first act? Um. Yeah. No. I wasn't. I was going to disagree on the. I don't think that there was a twist at all. What? I felt like she was. I don't think that there were a lot of twists. I thought that she was the only one that was so ahead of the movie, and so like her reaction to stuff was just so uh, mute that it didn't feel like a twist at all. It's just like he's lying. He's lying. He's lying. Well, Fuck that you. right. Fuck you. The and movie just, has twists, but her performances so level the entire time, which actually is like she's a real yeah. calming force in the center of this chaos. chaos. Yeah, I just I just feel like she's on the outside looking in the entire movie. Mm -hmm. And I love that type of shit yeah. in these types of scenarios where it's just like. No, I I get what this is. I don't care. I'm not trying to be invested in mm -hmm. in. I'm trying to live on what side and what your thing is. It's just like we don't give a shit. It's like it is, we're in a horror movie. Yeah, <laughs> I need to get the fuck. I'm out. trying to fucking live, bitch. I'm going to kill whomever. Yeah, yeah. It stands it's, in my way. It's so dope. So the way that this yeah. movie, I think the first act, like it, the movie had something to say, and what it has to say is really interesting and yeah. fun and let's talk about it and complicated yeah. and maybe messy yeah. controversial. but controversial but the first act is, is such a fucking blast yeah you open on this very yeah. fancy airplane and you've got dennis from always sunny who is just the perfect dick. dick he is such yeah. a nightmare person yeah and they're on this plane you realize like okay it's like private plane there's some boss athena you're like okay that's pretty cool and then all of a sudden this dude comes stumbling out and he's oh, where am i everyone freaks the yes. fuck out and they you're like what is this guy what is happening he's kind of like foam, bleeding from the mouth a little bit they're like oh you need to lay down sir he's like i'm a doctor yeah you he's can like, I'm trust a doctor. me yeah he lays him down yeah. he asks for a pen and he stabs the dude in the, in the neck. neck. <laughs> fucking blood the, yeah, everywhere. Fucking and you're like, what the Whoa. fuck is going on? And you start to get, they're, they're talking to each other, all the liberals on the plane saying like, it hasn't even started yet. They're pissed. Like, they're pissed come at this guy. On. They're like, you, what? It wasn't Why yeah. did you kill him? Yeah, it wasn't fair. And you, then you're like, oh, this is some sick fucking shit about to go down. Yeah. Now yeah. we are, so you're like, okay, that was like a false opening, but yeah. now I'm ready for the movie to start. Yeah. Who is my hero? You see movie star Emma, Emma Roberts. Gorgeous. Can we, yeah. can we take a moment? Emma motherfucking. We haven't done an Emma Roberts Blood movie highlights yet. Roberts wearing a wiggy wig. That smile. She's got the perfect top teeth and I'm just the quirky. It. What? <laughs> nah. Are you, you're, are you? Oh, I'm not into what? Not into Emma Roberts at all. What? As an actress, as a <laughs> yeah. as an icon, what part? Just all of it. Uh, Rick, have you taken your whole, meds today? I don't. I don't take huh. meds. And you should, because um, your brain's I'm fucked seeing, up. This clear That's as a burn. insane. Nah, I think she's. I think she's mad mid, guys. Oh, I think she's so mid. <laughs> I think God. she's so mid. I don't. But yeah, we disagree, but I don't want to get involved. I was going to say, I was going to take yeah. a moment to just praise yeah. her, but we need to move the fuck on no, before no, I no, punch both her, of y'all. No. <laughs> what I liked about this movie that I'm sure Go you were about it. to say is that like it, you get Emma Roberts, you open on this icon, this star, this yeah. massive celebrity, and 
She's got a gat like a like a sex gag in her mouth. It's that's not a sex her, gag. It's like a kidnap. It's like gag. a horse bit. Well, yeah, it depends yeah. on what. You're yeah, into. it's like a gag. Yeah. I mean, she, anything can be a sex yeah, thing fair. if you're into it. If you're in Kelsey's room, and she's yeah. got like it's locked to her <laughs> head, and she starts looking around this like woods, and she starts seeing other people that have this gag locked to their head, and you're like, you get the sense from oh, we just saw the plane incident. These people were the other people in the cargo that they were talking about, and they're in this country. Country Woods, and you think, oh, Emma Roberts must be our main character, She's right? She's the star. I mean, there's a crate in the middle of this yeah. field. Hunger Games style. They open style. it up, Hunger Games style. There's there weapons. All of these guns that they give to them, and Emma Roberts meets the hot guy. And you're from, like, ooh, a love story potentially from This Is Us. From This yeah. Is Us, thank you. And you're like, okay, these are my leads. Boom! Boom! Whoop! Emma Roberts. That was so. <laughs> what a shot fucking in the fucking good. head. She's been there for thirty seconds. Yeah. She got two lines. Hey, she's there, hey! and then she's fu- five minutes later. That she almost is hit dead. me. She's fucking dead. She's fucking so then not. it switches point of view to hot guy from This Is Us, where you go, oh, okay, this is our lead. And it's so smart because we're the movie is weaponizing your expectation of what a hero looks like. Yes, this guy looks like yeah. a fucking. Yeah. hero gi joe moment yeah. so then we're like oh okay yeah. so we're following him he's running across the field to go save a woman who has fallen into a pit of stakes <laughs> where my, it stakes fa- her yeah. through the fucking spine my favorite line is you see this woman she has like four sp- wooden spikes, spikes going through her body and she just goes i fell <laughs> <laughs> it's funny <laughs> and so you see him it's a funny save movie. her and pull her off the stakes and throw her over his back and you're like oh yeah. our hero and then he you just hear clink and the camera pans down to his foot and he's standing on a fucking landmine <laughs> and he <laughs> looks directly uh, at the camera and just goes smack Fuck and boom, he's exploded. Yeah. And then we go to Ike, <laughs> Ike Barinholtz, and, and you're like, "That's okay, my fucking guy." Here he I is. love Ike Barinholtz. I love the Monkey guy. Music Project. That's with the tone. Yep. Yeah, that's with the tone. It makes yep. sense. He's funny. He's funny. He's a boy. He's going to. F- yeah, him yeah, and a couple a of the other we'll deplorables escape. They jump a fence. They think they've gotten out of the farm, and they drop the hint that this is the manor. And it reveals just gently to us as the audience that the manor is a conspiracy theory, sort of like a, um, uh, what, what's, Pizza yeah, Gate. yeah, yeah, Pizzagate thing that liberals bring these people on a farm to, to hunt them down and kill them. And that that's clearly what they're in. And this is what they need to escape. So they think they jump the fence. We end up at little old mom and pop's gas station. They run in, they call the cops for help. There's like three of them in there. Mom and pop are like, please don't you us. We have grandkids. Da, 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 da. So we're like following Ike. He's very funny being chaotic. And then what happens? We realize this town is the farm. This we're town still in the is manor. still and bye. They kill like Barrett. What I love is he go. There's one line where it's like, like go to hell, and then she goes, "I don't believe in hell." As you posted, I'm a godless elite. By the way, asshole, climate change change is is real, real. and then fucking fucking kills him in the smacks his brains out. And this was where I need to pause and talk about why. Yeah, I fucking love this movie. I loved movie this movie. Because you have these like these two people like as they're cleaning up the murder cuz now we shift perspectives again. Yeah. And we're watching these people who just killed him like he's a monster. Honey, he probably uses the N-word. <laughs> oh my <laughs> and god. And then they have this, this debate. It's so funny. <laughs> they have this debate back and scene. forth. It's so funny. He probably uses the N word and not secret. Yeah, yeah. in real yeah. life. Just in, he just says and, it. I was like, "Oh god, that's that's very funny." Well, okay, so, all right. I don't know if I should be getting into any guilt yet, but no, 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 no please, no, no, no. I'll, I'll let's, say let's my pleasure because there is the a big size. guilt that 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 is needs to be addressed. Yeah. But what I think, what I love about yeah. this movie is that this is the first movie in the modern Trump era and post-Trump era that has called out my yes. family. <laughs> <laughs> like, well, I, you, you bring yeah, up oh, a good God, point. Yeah. Like this, this moment was the first lesson that it presents to say, look, we're showing both sides, right? Because mom and pop are arguing with Ike Barinholtz, who has a gun. And she goes, but why do you have a gun? And he said, because it's my right to protect people. And she goes, well, you say you're being hunted by these people with guns. 
aren't they doing the exact Isn't same thing their right? as their right to protect themselves? Yeah. And you go, oh, fuck. This is this is movie is going to present both sides against each other. And this is, I mean, I guess I can't like talk about my Thanksgiving. I can't talk about the pleasure without also talking about the guilt. Is that I think the guilt of it is that this movie does do both sides, right? It yeah. like shows like, well, look, they're just as bad as them. And I, I don't think that's what the movie is Meant trying to do. To do yeah. But it's it was what the only it, way it's gonna get made. It, <laughs> inadvertently yeah. does. But what yeah. I think is really fun about it is like, look, I come from a family of liberal elites, yeah. okay? I'm a New York Jew. Yeah. I am well aware of, of <laughs> who I am and the bubble that I live yeah. in. And I think that Trump supporters are deplorable people. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. this, mm -hmm. I, agreed. I also think that you can't write off half of the world. No. And what I, too often yeah. you have people who like I've literally heard people in my extended family go oh, I wish we could just round them up and kill them yeah. like, you, which, like you can't fucking do that yeah it's just like you, you can't, can't do, do that. that and I think you can't there's do a that. lack you of can't say that there's, there's <laughs> a lack of compassion's the wrong word but like there's just a hate and this yeah. hate of like well middle America's stupid fuck them they the should South all burn they're all hillbillies they're all hi the hillbillies they're uneducated they're all and this is like yeah. that was the problem that that like yeah. the daily show had during the Bush era that led to the Trump era where like you can't just demean and look down on an entire group of people and say that they're stupid right. and while also them. not trying to yeah. do anything to help them and uplift right. them and make them better and fix the laws that right. is right. damaging Thanks. that part of the country. Yeah, and all, an okay. So okay. it's the whole fucking so, swirl and that's why I'm like, wow, this is the first and only movie that I've seen that has called out <laughs> the extended Kornfeld family <laughs> on what is a huge blind spot that I've tried to work through. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so this is where I got a little annoyed mm -hmm. and peeved because on the way that Get Out gets yes. it, like talking about um, and making fun of liberal elites, quote unquote, and people trying to, who are trying to be on right. the right side of things, but well, are like <laughs> kind of have things misconstrued mm -hmm. because of like living in a bubble or whatever. This movie didn't get to that point as yet. Like the way that like the way that they were appalled or like the way that they were made fun of was because of how much they cared about. Right. Things being too woke. To the point where they're just like, I'm going to yeah. being yeah. too woke, being so woke that it's just like I, these people don't right, deserve right. to live. They were trying. And I'm going to add a justification. <laughs> I'm going to add a justification onto them. In order to be like, no, you actually do deserve yeah. to die, even though the justification wasn't real and all yeah. that stuff. Well, <sighs> Rather yeah. than being like, uh, there's this one joke by, I, I think his name is something Zelay or whatever, where he he said he goes into a, um, he went into a Portland barbershop. And he was just like, I'm going to get everybody super liberal over there. Oh, my God. Everybody has cool haircuts, blah, blah, blah. This is so cool. Um, they, they had a sign that said, we support um, black lives, um, gay rights, gay marriage, um, a Muslim, the Muslim community, all that stuff. Right. And then he said somebody who was black walked into the barbershop and was just like, hey, do you guys cut black people hair? And they're like, no. <laughs> and then he has so it's like. It's like that. Yeah. Thing. yeah. The, the performativeness that, like, of it. Instead it's like of, you're pretending the yeah. performativeness. Like I, 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 I wanted to see that they didn't actually. Right. Care. There's a certain goofiness you know, like to I, their, I, I, to their liberalism that uh -huh. doesn't feel real. Yeah. The way that I would have right. voted for Obama a third time and yeah. get out like that's, yeah. that's real. Right. This is, that's this what is, it is exaggerated and it's really funny, yeah. but it does lose right. you in that way of like, this is this is a fantasy, uh -huh. and it takes place in a fantasy world. Yeah. There's a. a were well, you going to say the moment after this where she discovers that she's living in a she's that it, they're in a fantasy world? Well, I was going to go to future lines, but yeah, you know what? I think I want to just keep going along the plot. Yeah. it's so fun. Okay, so we talked about Betty Gelpin, who it's such is a fun plot. the fucking goat yeah. in this, and after we've now shifted perspectives all of these times, mm -hmm. Betty finally kind of kind of slowly stumbles in yeah settles and in. she's so sympathetic yeah. and sad yeah where like she you, lost her wallet you expect yeah. her she's to be in a tough situation and she's like i don't know where i am so I, I just want to buy some cigarettes i wasn't sympathizing with her really at all. so the way that she already yeah, yeah i no, felt no, like no, she was acting the, the way that she 
Um, yeah, the way that she was like, um, that she pulled out the hairpin mm-hmm. and all that stuff and like cut mm-hmm. her hair and then put like the to pin get the on north. Water. You see her in the first like scene when she we first meet Emma Roberts. Yeah. See and what it north shows is. Uh, it's a compass. You learn it in Girl Scouts. Oh, yeah. oh, it's yeah. static. Duh. No, don't don't talk about yourself That's that cool. way. I didn't I'm know right that. here. Um, but yeah, it, it was just like all of that stuff. I was like, oh, she knows what mm-hmm. she's doing. This is somebody that hunted yeah. before, at least. And then when she walked in, I was like, oh, she's way too cool about this mm-hmm. whole situation. She knows it. I, I, so I didn't sympathize You're, with her well, that's at why all. I was like, oh, the writer in you, you recognized it. Because I, no. I frankly, the first time I watched this, I forgot <laughs> That we had met her already because yeah. I, I didn't recognize the actress. Uh, uh, and she comes in and you're like, oh, this sweet And you're woman. like, oh, no, she just walked into the hornet's nest of this mom and pop who just killed three of her her fellow Republicans. And you're like, she's about to get it. She seems sad. She seems like she I don't belong really know here. what's going on. She asked for just a pack of smokes and she hands her a 10 or a 20. And uh-oh, mom and pop yeah. fuck up by handing her the wrong type of change back. And our girl's motherfucking switch flips. She jumps over the fucking counter. Slams she the fucking head down. Steals the gun from under the counter. She shoots the husband. She turns around to old sweet old grandma and goes, "Cigarettes are only six dollars in Arkansas. You fucked up, bitch!" And then <laughs> you fucking fucked up, shoots bitch. her in the fucking. <laughs> Head goes outside, looks at a truck, sees that it's Jimmy rigged with a bomb, pulls the license plate off, and realize plot twist number whatever Derrick. we're on. <laughs> plot twist number 17. Is that they're yeah. not in our Kansas. They are not even in America. They are in Europe. Yeah. It's uh it's such a fucking dope yeah. character intro because mm-hmm. first you meet her of like she seems shell-shocked. I Garrick didn't. I sympathize with her. I don't want this girl to die because she seems sad. Then you realize, no, she's, she's outsmarting all of them. And yep. I, yeah. you love someone who's she's, outsmarting. She is, like like in Prey, she is literally the yes. smartest yeah. person on screen every time she's on And she, she starts screen. to realize and that they're using that. drones around this city to like keep up with where they all are. She's able to break, she's able to steal one of the radios from mom and pop and she's listening to their conversation. And she very quickly understands these people are so dumb because they're letting all of their secrets out, which brought me to like one of my, yeah. one of my only guilt of the, not this movie, but this genre of movie mm-hmm. of hunting people movies <laughs> yeah. is that what person who doesn't realize that they are going to be a hunter quickly can become the hunted as well. <laughs> you're using guns, you're using yeah. weapons. Anytime we've seen a movie where we think they have all the safety parameters in place to hunt humans, they're going to get hunted back themselves. Yeah, but it's not fair and fun if you just, yeah. y- you need it to be somewhat even. That's what they say in the beginning. They're like, it's not fair yet. He doesn't, he's not armed Okay, fine. But that was my only guilt. So I mean, she yeah, starts I, to infiltrate I, I will goes, keep that in mind next time up. I go hunting yeah. people. Yeah. <laughs> but, and this is the other thing, and this might be my, like, maybe it's oh, a kink. Oh, I don't know. We're about to learn about kinks. Everyone lean in. She Turn up the felt, volume. She, she felt, like, the way that she walked in, she felt intimidating. Uh, I was like, oh, God. I'm a little afraid ooh, of her. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, God. Oh shit! They, I'm a li- like in, not in like a like not in like, the, the cool and calm yeah. and collected James Bondian He's way. Dangerous. Or anything She's like that. It just felt like, yeah, the way that she was looking around, mm-hmm. um, looking around the shop mm-hmm. itself, and just being like, oh, taking this, in, this is over here, this them. is over there, and like she's just taking yeah. it in and clocking it, in, clocking in everything. And like something about her eyes is just like, oh, I can tell that you guys just did something that you've never done before. And I'm going to guess it's kill somebody. And I've done that before. And I'm going to fucking. She's the only character, like you said, that's like, this is I don't have any room for error from you fucks. <laughs> you sh- you slip up one time, yeah. I'm fucking killing you. I period. love when like she's like finally someone smart. I got you. Yeah, one of her first lines. And so she meets this yeah. this bumbling other kind of fuck in the woods, being like, Who's yeah. Ethan Suckley sure. from Boy Meets yeah. World and, and she's Mal like, Rats. Hello, we gotta yeah. get out of here. And they jump on a train. Yeah. 
He's, he, I, I believe he's oh, skateboarding. No okay. way. That'd be fucking dope as hell. Yeah. I mean, this is where yeah. you also, we talked he about it, like a it's a little goofy yeah. and heightened, but it also is like, it's really funny where they see someone on a train. They're talking about this manor house and yeah. he's like, he says, I forwarded it to 50 friends. I didn't even believe it. Yeah. Like, that's a little commentary. <laughs> they, that joke. they get on a yeah. train and they see this family of, of refugees. refugees where you're like, oh my God, th- this is the this is the next lesson, right? So the first one was about the guns. Mm-hmm. Now we're talking about immigration. Well, I, it's so funny. We have different things. I, as me as a viewer, I'm like, oh, this is real too. And they don't, they don't realize it's out. But his first reaction, he goes, these are crisis actors. Yes, <laughs> they, this is, and then she goes, yeah, Gary, they have so a baby. Was, and he goes, there are crisis babies. <laughs> there are crisis babies. <laughs> um, Yeah, I, so like, that's what, like, oh my God, the guilt. And this is, this is to no fault of the movie itself, but because Twitter was just so insufferable mm. for five yeah. years, I was just so tired of mm. like that, that like that type of joke, that type of commentary, that Conspiracy. type of anything. I was just like, all right, I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm mm-hmm. over it. So like that, that is kind of not to the fault of the movie, like I was saying before, but more to like, oh, we're, we're just, it's just been overdone. Yeah. But I think what, what they nicely like twisted it on its head, right. Is Gary's trying to say, no, these are actors and, and our girl, what's her name? Becky, Be- Betty Gilbert. Betty. I don't know her character's name. Who cares? Uh, the the train gets stopped Crystal. and the army pulls them out and you think, oh my god, they're gonna they're gonna save us. This is the army saving us, and they're like, we're American, we're American. You realize we're we're in a different country. And Gary's dumbass is going to the the army guys. You know, you guys, this is they are fake people. They are crisis <laughs> actors. I have a podcast about. I it. have a podcast about these people, and uh. the the soldiers are kind of like, we don't know what you're saying. We don't speak English. We don't speak the language the refugees are speaking. And the refugee is like, you know, using his language and then just turns to Gary and goes, I don't think they believe you, Gary. <laughs> and you're just like, ah, I don't he think is an actor. Ah, so fuck, cute. he is one of them. And yeah. then you realize you literally can't so trust anyone. Whatever they are setting up, they want you to assume that they are working for the other team. It is, it is a perfect moment of where yeah. the guy is crying wolf and the wolf is actually right there in front of you, which is, you know, adding to the chaos. I, so I I have, I think if I were to show anybody this movie in this, I, I, I would talk about mm. this scene that we're going to mm. get to. Um, but it is the Which next is. scene to, to like linchpin <laughs> on what you're saying. I'm going to, I wonder, so should I pause part. here and dip into fun facts so that we can give context to why this movie never saw the light of day? Yeah. Okay. Uh, fun facts. With uh, that- really the only fun fact here is why, you haven't heard of this. Why this movie barely came out at all. Yeah. Uh, so this was originally going to be released September of 2019. And you have this first trailer of rich people hunting poor people. Okay. There wasn't really uh, an indication of what the political overtones were. Then there was a series of controversies. And really, the first was that there were mass shootings. America mm-hmm. is full of them. Oh, yeah. And the mm-hmm. very hyperbically violent tone seems mm-hmm. super insensitive. Mm-hmm. You had a bunch of people with... I mean, they advertised this movie very surface level. They weren't showing that it was a political commentary. Mm-hmm. So it was, you know, people getting guns and being hunted, mm-hmm. shooting. Poo, mm-hmm. poo, boom, boom, poo, 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 poo. <laughs> you know how guns poo, go. Poo, poo, poo. Uh, so it just seemed in bad taste. Yeah. Uh, ESPN allegedly pulled the ad. Mm. Then there's like other stuff where Universal starts to rethink how the movie's going to be perceived. They Mm -hmm. set up a test screening. Test screening loves it. But then shit goes bad. The Hollywood Reporter reports a line of, quote, nothing better than going out to the manor and slaughtering a a dozen deplorables. And that is the first indication the world gets that this is not just about hunting poor people. It's about hunting Trump supporters, Mm -hmm. which the movie never says, but it calls them deplorables. We know. Yeah. Fox News foaming at the mouth. Mm-hmm. They get a rock and chubby. Mm-hmm. They're like, this is our content for a mm-hmm. month. Mm-hmm. Tucker Carl Tucker Finally. Carlson tightens up his bow tie and he they uh they show they report that this movie is sick. Quote, the hunt is sick and shows just how hateful the left has become. Classic. Classic. So now this is this movie's being framed as a brutal matter of blue versus red. At this point, again, no one has seen the movie. They're just going off of a line <laughs> in the film. Now, wrong. 
Donald yeah. Trump himself enters the arena. No he, way. He tweets. He quotes, the movie coming is made in order to inflame and cause chaos. They create their own violence. I can't do the voice. That was terrible. Uh, and then try to blame others. They are the true racists oh, and are very okay. bad for our country. Uh. Following that tweet, the movie is temporarily canceled. What? Yeah, because people were pissed. Universal was just like, yo, we're in the middle of this firestorm. We can't do this. Director Craig Zobel said, you know, quote, if I believe this film could incite violence, I would not have made it. We seek to entertain and unify, not to enrage and divide. Well, right. It's up to the viewers to decide and what their takeaway will be. That sounds a little little yeah. <laughs> righty there. <laughs> We're just going to show the truth and you guys yeah. make your own assessments. And it's like, well, all right. So in January 2020, Universal announces we are going to release the film. Oh, and Lord. it does go to theaters on March 13th of 2020, right before the pandemic. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> right the pandemic. Like yeah. a week before. Uh, so this movie just goes through this hell roller coaster Fuck. where, you know, look, it's trying to make a lot of points and it's uh -huh. trying to, I think, call out a lot of people on their bullshit. Mm -hmm. We have to kind of get to the end to talk truly fully about what the movie is. Mm -hmm. um, but because of a line taken out of context. Yeah. It, uh, you know, the Ignited snowball went and it, it was never seen. Or kind would of you incredible. call it a snowball because that's the reference in the movie? That, right, the, the, the snowball? Yeah. No. It's kind of funny, too, Deep because, cut. like, the right-wingers mm -hmm. are always the ones of, like, you snowflakes, you can't handle anything. And then they get so fucking... Sensitive. And then, underwear twisted up about being yeah. called out. Yeah. When technically they... Well, I won't spoil it. Okay, so... Do we, we want to keep going scene yes. by scene or... Okay. I mean, we're kind of jumping around, but Rick, you were talking... Is yeah. the scene you're talking about when they get saved by the USA yes. agent guy? When they get... Yes. I think, like, this is the thesis okay. of the Set film. Set us up. And why I think this woman is... Oh, the God, greatest. I know exactly what you're talking about, and I get a fucking hard on for it. The, U, uh, the U.S. Um, embassy um, picks them up. They, they find out mm -hmm. they're in Croatia... All of that stuff, the U.S. ambassador or whatever, um, makes his way there, picks up her mm -hmm. and another guy, and um, they're in the car. I think they picks up her, Crystal, and wow, Don, another guy that she found. Um, we haven't found that other guy that mm -hmm. had the podcast. Mm -hmm. uh, we don't know where he is, but they're in the car, and he just starts talking. He's just like, "Hey." Um, do you know, like, like maybe who might have taken you here? And she's like, we don't know anything. And Don is in the back seat, like, yeah, I don't know. I, I, I was at a bar and I got hit in the back of the head, and now I'm here. Blah 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 blah. And then the ambassador starts to pry a little too much. It's like, I don't know. Maybe it's something you like. Did. Why would maybe they you pick you? Like, not. I don't want to say deserved it. Maybe it was just like, is somebody after you? And while this uh -huh. is going on, our girl, uh -huh. Crystal, Bad a.k.a. Bitch. Betty Badass <laughs> Gilpin, grabs the oh, slowly and mute so in the sick. face, deadpan in the face, slowly grabs the old crap bar <laughs> and like turns around up. and mule, mule kicks, kicks the ambassador, mule kicks him out of the car. Him. Like it's like that's... <laughs> There's 300 him out of the car because she she's here and she's hearing their conversation and she's, she's heard she's enough. heard the way he's You're going. You're not on our side. Well, I would never victim blame. He's being too emotional Her and yeah. she meter. just goes Ugh. too nope. emotional <laughs> about this situation. And fucking yeets him nope. out of his <laughs> own car and then jumps in the front seat yeah. and reverses over his head. Yeah. Crunch, crunch, Over bitch. His fucking then she, head. Oh, sorry, I woke up. <laughs> and then she gets out with Ron, Don, whatever but his name it, is, and she goes and opens the trunk because Don. Don's like, why would you kill him? He was the only one that was going to help him. And it's our boy from the podcast with a knife in his head in the back of the trunk. Yeah. And she's like, and he goes, oh, Jesus. Yep. And she goes, nope, that's Gary. <laughs> <laughs> that's she Gary. was right again. So good. She was so right good. again. She's she's never wrong. This whole this whole mm -hmm. fucking movie. She's never wrong. She's always on track. I know that's a huge spoiler, mm -hmm. but even still, it's fucking so mm -hmm. nice to see. I I know everything is about conflict, but when you're dealing with mm -hmm. life and death, 
you kind of don't need to have an unsure right. protagonist. You, it doesn't really matter if if mm. your life is on the line. I don't really care about their idiosyncrasies. All I care about is are they going to make it out of this alive? So you I wonder from a writing a, perspective if it gets away with it because we have so many other peripheral characters who the the movie kind of shifts in and out of perspective oh, yeah. of, which allows her to be. Uh, a, a constant, like a force of calm in the middle of yeah. it. Yeah. The, 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 and, and the reason why I wish a lot of people would have let this movie live and see it's, it's time in the sun is she is mm-hmm. the everyman. She is the quote unquote mm-hmm. American. You know, she is the one that's like mm-hmm. in between that's just looking at these two groups of people like this is actually <laughs> kind of weird. You're, you're dumb. And then also, you're mm-hmm. fucking stupid. You're so dumb to mm-hmm. assume these things about people. Um, and the fact that she's really just playing the um, not the everyman, but the uh, the straight man throughout the whole thing, and like observing everybody's ideals, and then like co- not really doing any commentary, but like saying like I really just have to get out of this situation before I can comment on it and how I feel, and you kind of get that towards the end. But yeah, it's, it's just like a, a beautiful, a beautiful protagonist and in a, in, in a beautiful way to like get into that conversation without. Well, really what I like it. about this moment in the film is like when, you know, I think we're, we're heading into act three at this point, or we're heading into like a big moment where now her and Dawn are going to they find the map in the trunk and they're going to this sort of safe house where they're, they know there's going to be a bunch of the liberals and they're going to go fuck them up, obviously. And in the, what I liked yeah. about this, cause it was at this point in the movie that I found myself going, am I siding with the right right now? Cause this woman, what we believe is mm-hmm. obviously a nasty Republican, like they've set up all the other hunteds, to be. So you're like, you know, something that Don says was like, I wish you wouldn't have killed him before he told us why they picked us. And she's like, oh, gee, sorry. I'll make sure to like wait next time. And she actually does wait the next time, which is a fucking glorious scene that we'll get to. But you, you do start to go, oh yeah, I'm just assuming that they're a bunch of, you know, asshole redneck Trump supporters. We don't know why they picked these people. And I like her so much that I'm Am I siding with the right protagonist in the right this protagonist? Moment? Yes. Well, and I think this yeah. movie, if it got to a place where it tried to redeem the character of these assholes, then I would have been like, yeah, no, fuck this. Movie. Yeah, but there's Luckily, a nice twist. It does we not get. do that. Yeah. So we go yeah. to this next moment, right, which is where they infiltrate yeah. the safe house of the liberals, and her and Don, she's just. Merkin bitches. She, she is. is such a fucking action stud. Oh we get to see her single She's handedly action take out She's down I- motherfuckers. And there's this point where the liberals oh are talking God. to each other in their safe house, and you realize that they have hired <laughs> a ex. Uh, what's the what's the military guy? Military to, from the right to be a consultant. A, a for them. So they were like, we're so yeah. woke and nonviolent that we had to hire someone from your side to teach us how to be violent. And she comes in, she fucking stabs a bitch with her own arrow. She shoots motherfuckers. She gets to the military guy and she realizes like. What, what, before, before we get off mm-hmm. of that arrow moment, it was just so sick because she shot an arrow, mm-hmm. missed her head. And then she pulled to to uh, hit Crystal with another arrow, and she does like this. She does like yeah. a, a wrestling uh-huh. sprawl. I don't I don't know if I could call it a sprawl, but it was like um, a, a knee drop or something like that onto the floor, um, so that uh-huh. to, to make her miss, and then gets back up, and she's you just like, idiot. "Oh man, I'm so sorry." <laughs> yeah. Like she didn't say it, but like with her she's entire like, oh, emotion, it's embarrassing like, for you. You missed, and then just yeah. stabs her with a. Yeah, it's yeah. embarrassing. Ooh, yeah. sweetie. And so we get Stab this moment so where, cool. like, one of my favorite so lines in the movie, right, is this bitch with the arrow yeah, is a, on the floor. She's fuck. bleeding out. She's gonna die. And Don comes in and is like, Jesus, 
Jesus, uh, Crystal, like you do the work down here. And she's like, Hey, Don, I saved this one for you. You want to go ahead and ask her why she's doing this to us? You know, like I did you a favor and she says something, you know, like, because you're all fucking rednecks or whatever. And doesn't really gives us a non-answer kind of. And so then Betty's about to kill her and he goes, well, wait, you can't do that. You know, she's a woman. And she, and Betty looks to the woman dying on the floor and goes, Hey, miss, do you think you should be afforded mercy because you're a girl (laughs) and the girl on the floor because she's a liberal goes, no. And then (laughs) she just fucking shoots her in the head. Yeah. Like that's like being like, Oh, you liberals believe that you should be able to hold your own. True feminism is equally killing women. Yes. (laughs) And so Jesus, what a line. Yeah. then we get the scene where yeah. we find out another twist, boobity boobity bop. Don is one of them. Potentially she hears all over the radio, Hillary Swank's character or say Don. And she goes, like I said, I have no fucking patience for maybes. You're either on my side or not. She kills Don. She tells Hillary Swank, Hey, I Which fucking is a killed great, Don. Like tension scene of like, are they fucking with him yeah. or not? Yeah. It's like a real, like, like, he's like, I don't know what they're talking yeah. about. It's like the thing almost of like, are you, can I trust you? Yes. Can I not? I, I really loved it. It's a really yeah. surprising and very yeah. effective uh, like yeah. fucking with your head. Yeah. And so the the military consultant is choking out on the floor. He's bleeding out. And it's just our girl, Crystal. And she goes over to him and she's like, are you a uh, service or whatever? And he's like, yeah, the National Guard. And she's like, oh, so you haven't even really been in the tough shit. And he's like, what about you? And she's like, yeah, Afghanistan. And we're like, oh, okay. So yes, she is. A, she We've, we've assumed yeah. it yeah. up to this point, but we've also now, they the writers wanted us to believe that it's cemented that she is a Republican with that, with that moment. I just read that as that she was capable because again, not everybody in the military right, but likes at this point. The I read it as all. she is wounded. Sure. All of these <laughs> things are true. Emotionally. All wounded. of these things are yeah. true. But like there's a reason oh, why she's oh, fighting so great. There's a reason why it's cementing like she they we would think she's a Republican Republican and that she's fucking capable. Yep. And she tells the guy, she's like, All right, yeah. I've killed almost all of you. Like, where's the head bitch in charge, a.k.a. Hillary Swank, who we have only been teased with up to this far. Athena. And he tells her where she is. She's at this manor. And we go, okay, mano y mano, honcho v honcho, the two baddest bitches in the game about to beat each other up. Who's going to win? Head liberal, head conservative. And you realize the, these are the two examples of the worst kind of white women in the country. <laughs> It's the the fucking extreme conservative and the extreme hippie vegan liberal fucking. It's the battle of the Karens. And before we get to the gorgeous yeah. ending of well, them versus each other, we get, get a get flashback. A, oh, okay, sorry. Yeah, no, no, you're yeah. you're doing a better job than me. What please. were you gonna say? Uh, I was gonna talk about how great the knife fight is. No, not yet. Not yet. <laughs> okay, okay. You gotta okay. go to the flashback. So we get a flashback three fourths of the way through. Yeah. We Where gotta, you're like, do the flashback, what? And this There's is, a yeah. flashback three fourths of the way through of a movie. That's three fourths, unusual. I mean, we're, we're at the end. Yeah. And okay, the end of the third going into the fourth quarter. Yeah. And three, third act, whatever. And we see Hillary Swank is this big fancy CEO, and she had been caught in a text thre- thread with other massive head honchos of you think you know Amazon, Tesla, whatever all the companies heads of the the world are, and they were quote, joking, quote, about doing a human hunting experience. No, they were joking. Right. That the, their texts were going to get leaked yeah. and that all of these CEOs were going to get fired from their positions because the right-wingers made what was supposed to be just a joke into a conspiracy theory. And one thing that one person said got blown up to yeah. ruin these seven or eight liberals lives. And so we get our answer as to why are we doing this? Why are they hunting these specific people? And this flashback reveals that they got together as a group, as the biggest, most powerful liberals in the world to say, we are going to take out the people who essentially took us out. You guys are doing this to yourselves. You guys made us do this to you. And they're going to take all of the horrible things that this conspiracy theory entails with 
crisis actors and this manner and whatnot, and they're going to make it real, real to say like, well, this is what you want. This is what you get. Yeah. And uh, so then we cut back to the present where our girl has reached the manor. She says, no guns, leave your gun in the mailbox. Come fight me like a real fucking woman. And she goes inside and then we finally get to see Hillary Swank. So what we learn is that, and I want to talk about this, this flashback and reveal, but what we learn, they got the wrong girl. This is They got oh. the wrong fucking girl. This was, this was one of the most, I feel yes. like special yes. parts of the movie was that conversation between her saying, I know you though. You were you did this. You hate or me. blah 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 yeah. is your screen name is Justice for All. You were you had you hate me. You had two blah blah blah. You had two you, you, your parents um died in a mess. Yeah, you write this accident, whole accident narrative about stuff. this person and, then, and why they're bad and why you've written them And why they're person. a stereotypical Republican. And then you're just she like, goes, Yeah, you're, that's not me. She's like, that's You're not, so fucking dumb. <laughs> and then she comes back with Yes. No, that is you. And then she, Crystal says, you don't even care about the Ooh. truth, do you? And she's like, I do care about the truth as Ooh. long as I'm right. And the that's where I was like, all right, no, this is a good movie. Everything <laughs> yeah. we have that been saying chills. right there in a, in a perfect yeah. four lines of dialogue between these two women. And the fact that the liberal person yes. was the one saying that self reflection is just like, <laughs> even though that's the narrative we They're put on them, it's it, just yeah. like, no, you, or, yes. you're both literally telling each yep. other or telling yourself. This what is what you I love. And, and then also something that I have an so, issue yeah. with. But like, it's so much easier to write off all of middle America as racist yeah. and evil and whatever. Because it's just easier. Yeah. It's simpler. It's yeah. like, oh, they're just bad yeah. people. It's so easier. It, it would be it's so, so much simple easier. if that's what as it was. As humans, but we it generalize. Isn't. And so you don't care yeah. Yeah. what it is. Right. You come up with your... She literally says, version. there is another Crystal Smith in mm -hmm. my town. That is the wrong... You have got the wrong yeah. bitch. You got the fucking... You have the wrong yes. one. Yes. I, I get, get her, her mail sometimes. sometimes. And we go, shh. <laughs> yeah. Nope. It's you, bitch. It's yeah. you, and I hate you, and I'm going to fight you. And I'm going to take it's it you. out on you. And what I think is because really cool you. about the movie, too, is that we, like, heroes create their villains, right? That is a, that is a thing in movies. So Joker is an answer to Batman uh, yeah. cleaning up Gotham. Like, And yeah. so what this movie posits is that we, in the political spectrum, too, in a way, end up creating our, our own, own villains. villains that mm -hmm. if you say this thing about a person, they react yeah. and whatever. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm not saying that the most eloquently, no. but I no, think it's a it. neat yeah. idea. What I think is silly. Yeah. No. yeah people yeah. will radicalize themselves based off of a react or in a, in a reactionary mm -hmm. way rather than I naturally came to this. Uh, because this they've done you. We, as the viewer have done that. Right. Like me watching did not want to believe Crystal Smith or whatever her name was, was not actually the real Crystal Smith, because in my mind, I'm going, no, 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 she's lying to you. That that is her. And to believe that Crystal Smith just so happened to be a bad bitch, Afghanistan military combat lady and is in yeah. the neutrality of no, neither Republican or Democrat, I, as the viewer, did not want to believe in that moment that she actually wasn't the villain we had created her out to be. Yeah. Which then, was the best surprise of all to me. And yeah. then when I'm like, oh, no, this is kind of silly, though, is because it's ultimately yeah, about so. Twitter and like <laughs> getting canceled on Twitter. And I'm like, yeah, well, like, that yeah. shit's like That's not, what I thought it was. doesn't I actually it, matter. Was like, like, Twitter's not real. Yeah. I was like, this is really... It's really fun. I like I was like I, I wrote down um this this Twitter. movie is literally just about <laughs> consequences I mean, on the yeah. internet. Yeah. And like finding the person that finding yep. the op that talks shit online. Which is like and like yeah, it, it feels like I know Damon life. Lindelof had to get off of Twitter because it was like too much for him. And I do wonder how much of this is like him processing the internet in a way of like, well, yeah, but it actually, yeah. Twitter doesn't fucking matter. Yeah. Like, and then get we over. get the most insane fight yeah. scene of all time between these two. Yeah. Cause you so think cool. you've seen it all at this yeah. point in this movie and you're it's like, well, violent. it's just two women in a kitchen. What's yeah. even going to happen? No, you get Which, Did you hear that? You say, did you even hear yourself say that? It's oh my God. Two women I'm so terrible. I'm so terrible. No, what? it's like, what is, 
What 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 are, what are they going to do? Make make exactly. double sandwiches? It's no, I'm sorry. so I'm layered, so sorry. bitch. Like the sandwich they're making. They're literally, literally making, making a sandwich. She is making a sandwich. She is a, a, a in the literal fight woman scene, in the kitchen. You making think a you've sandwich. seen it all? And she was like, "That was very. That was a very good line." Yeah, that was a very good line where she was like, "Are you done with your grilled cheese speech?" Yeah, uh, I hate to I break up your mo- your grilled cheese monologue, yeah. but uh, you got the wrong girl. And then they fight yeah. with knives and glass the and the coolest tracking shots I've seen in a long time. Yeah, it's super fun. Guys, the movie's special. Yeah. It's fun. Like, it's not perfect, uh, but it's great. It it's is really right. cool. I thought that, like, this, the, the, the dialogue up top from all the other people was just so... It, like on the on the Republican side of things, mm-hmm. it was so on the nose and so like, oh my god, I'm just like kind of piecing apart society and like uh, mm-hmm. weirdly delusional. And then the delusion didn't mm-hmm. go to the other side. Everything was just like kind of based in facts, mm-hmm. but you're just annoyed. Or you're just not annoyed. You're just annoying about it. It's just like a, you, you, this person shouldn't mm-hmm. say the N word. Mm-hmm. Climate mm-hmm. change is real. All of that stuff. And it's just like, yeah, that's, you know, that's pretty yeah. morally sound. But there's no yeah. delusion attached to it. And mm-hmm. that's what that's the, the only right The way I that it ends where, you know, you get the most insane fight scene of all time. And our girl Betty gets a, a thing, in ni- a <clears throat> glass stuck in her stomach. And you think she's done for. But then she essentially hugs Hillary Swank so that the glass stabs her and she like stabs her multiple times with her stomach and like Hillary Swank ends up being the one that dies and our girl I'm gonna say is to me right there it's a metaphor for what the movie's trying to say it's like you need to have compassion. Yeah. Now, again, I don't think you need to have compassion for neo Nazis. No. Fuck them to hell. This girl and that's, was a surprise. And that's that's yeah. where yeah. the no. limit of no, the message of the movie like hits a wall because mm-hmm. both sides are not equal. One side yeah. is fucking full of neo Nazis who yeah. want to, yeah. you know, end people based on yeah. their race, religion, yeah. skin, creed, yeah. whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck them. But Betty gets for on a her lot private of people, jet. Like, <laughs> no, no, no. For a lot of people, like there is this the level of compassion that you need to have for people in different parts of the country in different situations. Mm-hmm, and mm-hmm. that ultimately is what the movie is trying to say, even if it's a little messy at times. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Literally. Oh my God. Okay. So the ending is that yeah. Betty gets on uh, Hillary Swank's plane. She drinks her champagne and tells her pilot, I want to go home. Fucking take me home. And by the way, flight attendant, you come sit down and have some caviar with me. The end. Pretty good. It was amazing. We have to decide, is this movie a pleasure, a guilty pleasure, or just was, plain guilty? Come on. Yeah, it's, come it's, on. it's a pleasure for me. It's it's a fun, like, it's Capital fun, P. it's violent as yeah. hell, it's hilarious, it, try, it has something to say about the modern world, it's trying to show the way that we manifest our own evils and horrors, and it just, like... It's and cool, it wasn't, man. It, it wasn't just, scary. Like, I, you know, I don't like scary movies. I don't like, I, yeah. I don't like spooky movies. I don't know if this is part of our spooky season classics, but this was pure thriller. It wasn't so gory that I was like uncomfortable, but it ridiculous gives you, gory. it's so ridiculous, yeah. but it's also funny. It's a, per, it, yeah. to me, it has no, it has Fair no flaws. It's gory. an absolute pleasure. Wow. No yeah. flaws. It's going up there for me. I've always been on the hunt, the hunt and the search the for what an actual yeah. like, cult classic is. The hunt, yeah. Um, I <laughs> no pun intended. I'm so sorry. Um, but like on the search for like a cult classic and like that whole feeling of like, yeah, you, you'll know it when mm-hmm. you see it. Um, and this yeah. this mm-hmm. was for sure that I've been looking for oh! another oh! my boy Miles. Yeah, you man. feel me. <laughs> I've been looking for another one of those for so long. And this so beautifully fits into that niche of like, this is a really good movie. It is. You watch it and you go, how do more people not know about it? And that's why we're here. Guilty horrors in between sexualizing cartoons and asking, you know, why M. Night Shyamalan's The Happening is an undersung classic. Actually, it's trash. We're here to actually deliver some gems. Like this, this is on the same caliber as Pig to me. Remember how much we love Pig, guys? Okay, I do have one fun fact. I was going to, I was going to not say it because like there's only one fun fact and I gave you that whole backstory, but here we go. Give it to us. The pig in this movie (gasps) was treated 
as an equal on the set and had full access to all catered meals. Oh, I love Aww. it even more now. I'm going to recommend this to everyone I know. That's adorable. Okay, that's a P across the yeah. board. P. P- 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 pleasure. <laughs> <laughs> Why have we never done that before when we've all given it a pleasure? P- 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 pleasure. My- Miles, you need to put that on your fucking soundboard. P- 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 pleasure. <laughs> You brew, won't. brew, brew. Uh, also, right. you guys can watch this movie for free via Freebie. If you Prime want. video as well. There you go. Uh, Till next time, I'm at Corn Day and all things. I'm Kelsey Dara and all the things. I'm Garrett Bernard and all the things. Okay. No, what? <laughs> Rick, what was yours? Uh, Rick, what, what was you yours? Sign up. Were you not going to say? Let me go to group chat. Oh, 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 go to the group oh, chat. You don't cut the bullshit. <laughs> I'm going to blow your fucking, fucking welcome, welcome to, to Guilty, Guilty pleasures. pleasures. There it is. <laughs> <laughs>